Spinkle, and welcome to Angling Info. Hi and welcome to Angling Info. Today we're going to do a bit of a different video, not, not really as much fishing. Um, I've, I've had a, basically a few members, well quite a few members, just wanting me to go through the setup that I run plus kind of what accessories I use and, and why and just a, a quick talk about the, the kind of accessories and what they're used for and basically the advantages of having them or not having them uh, and you know just basically the setup and how I fish it. So what we'll do is we'll keep changing camera angles, um, going through specific parts of you know the setup and we'll have a little talk about each one. So I think first what we'll do is I'm fishing the pole today. We'll go I'll go through feeder setups also but um because I've got the pole set up as I'm fishing that today what we'll do is we'll start with that kind of setup and work around towards the feeder setup. Right so we're starting at the end of uh, the setup. I've got two V rollers as you can see obviously you can have flatbed rollers or you can have you know tripod rollers it's completely up to you today i'm fishing the long pole so i would suggest two really stable you know good roll good quality rollers these are obviously preston ones you don't have to spend a million pound but i would have two rollers and i would have ones which are, are, are fully adjustable on all legs because you need a good stable platform if you if you just fish in two plus two, then you know just set set one roller up behind you. Uh, if you don't think it, sometimes set one roller up and put you maybe your rod bag or you, or you, you know your carry all behind you and use that. But it just saves the end of your pole. You know you don't want to ruin. You spend a lot of money on poles. We don't want to to ruin the ends of them. So two good stable rollers is a must. Obviously, if you're pole fishing, you must have rollers. Um, <laughs> If it gets windy, you can see on top of top of mine, I've got two holes there, and that's just to put a cord on to stop the the pole getting lifted out of um, out of its roller. So we'll, let's work farther down, and we'll get we'll go on to whereabouts we'd store as top sections, and have a little bit of talk around the box. Right, guys, I'm just having a little zoom in. Uh, if you can see, this is um, the first uh, piece of accessory that I'm going to talk about um, and it's to basically hold your top sections. As you can see, it's attached to my box in one part. It comes as uh, one total length of metal and then obviously the two attachments fit to that so it's easy to, to pack away. You can buy various different types that fold up or sometimes you can just use one of those uh, attached to your box and, and, and a little tripod with you know to hold your top sections. The advantage of this is obviously it's everything to hand as you can see from zooming out and right down to where it is. Obviously it can hold up to six tops uh, can this one and you know everything is to hand it's really accessible and you can you, you know you don't have to get off your box and you can reach everything so let's move a bit closer and you know we'll talk about other accessories that we've got so as you can see on the front um, I've got what's called a ripple bar uh, lots of different types out there this is um, the one that I like I prefer you don't have to have them Some, sometimes if I'm fishing, fishing two, uh, 2 plus 2 I don't have one when I fish at distance just for stability you know it is um, it's a great tool uh, fully adjustable and obviously if you you know you can get by universal one or if you have Preston boxes you know they have their own uh, so that's that's basically that to the left of that as you can see what's holding my uh, top kit is um, a pole sock. This is purely to take weight off your pole roller to stop it from blowing around in the wind and obviously you can see mine's gone to a I've got a little side arm attached to that which is covered in like a soft kind of rubbery you know sponge and that is also really uh, helpful for just leaning your top section on when you're sorting uh, your hooks out, your bait out, anything like that. I can rest it on my knee and just rest it on there so that's obviously very very useful so going across to the other side as you can see there I've got a side tray I use that for the base of my uh, landing net handle and obviously anything else that I need if, if I'm in a match dr a drink or any other baits uh, that overflow my bait waiter and obviously my towel so my bait waiter is just here 
so again really good tool to have can keep all your baits to hand you can raise it up uh, to whatever height you need you get get your uh, your your um your unhooking utensils spare rigs plummet things like that on there scissors stuff that you could you possibly need that you'll have to rummage around in your box for you won't need to do if you get ready before you fish a match or before you fish a pleasure session the less noise you can make and move about is obviously beneficial so let's just zoom out and have a quick look at the box the box that I have, uh, if you're on Angling Info, you'll, you'll have seen I've moved from Preston, which is nothing against Preston. I've loved my Preston box for ages. I just wanted a change. So I've gone on to a Matrix Super Box, which I'm really impressed with, really loving it. It's, it's great. Loads of storage. Obviously, I've got more storage at home. Um, the beauty of these things, which like a lot of systems, is this tub here if it slides underneath. I've got another two tubs at home. Uh, with different sets of rigs or various tools in there it's great because you can lift them out put them at the side of you you don't have to rummage around they're at the side just lean down pick them up and you know you're ready to go it, it doesn't matter what what new box really you get now rive ones Daiwa, preston maver they've all got these um stackable units underneath which uh, are just fantastic um if you haven't got those, what I would suggest again is getting yourself a bait waiter with the or, or a deep side tray that you can put all these utensils into. So then you're not in and out of your box. Um, I, I have also at the side of it. I'll just zoom in there. Is an un, uh, a side tray which will pull out. So obviously that is easy to keep things in that possibly will blow away in the the wind. You know, like extra line hooks things like that. So as you can see, mine's got a foot plate. Not everybody gets on with a foot plate. I love them. I think they're great because you can attach more things to them and it just feels right having my feet at that kind of height. So that's completely up to your option if you fancy a foot plate or not. Mate, I'm quite small, so obviously it's, also, I don't, my knees are in my face, which if you're taller guys, I know can be a bit of an issue, um, but the, it works for me. So also obviously, I've got the, the 3D matrix um, keeping it arms for when we fish matches. These are great. The, there's also some even better ones out there, um, the Preston ones, where you actually have the screw attachment fixed to your keep net and they just click in so you don't have to take them off and unscrew them, which I do with mine, but it's not end of the world, it takes two minutes. But they also stay on your box there, so you don't have to mess about taking them on and off. So what I'm going to do now is just zoom the camera back out and I'm going to get out a feeder set up. I'm not going to put it on but I'm going to talk you through it and how I would attach it. Right guys, last thing I was going to talk to you about is um, feeders. So as you've seen that's, that's my setup. I'm not saying that, that mine's the best setup or the only setup which I know everybody's got their own opinions, their own way of doing it. I'm just giving you a few tips on how I set up just because members have asked me. So, you know, I'm not going to tell you how to set up if you feel comfortable with your way. I'm just telling you the best way for me. So, feeders. A lot of people have various different ways of setting up the feeders, but I would recommend getting one of these. They're about tenner from eBay. You know, cheapest chips. Get a universal one, fits anything, box square legs or round legs. Um, and simply, it just takes the pressure off having to put a bank stick in, you know, it, it, it just attaches to your box, straight onto your box to, your, to an angle or straight in front of you, depending if you're fishing left or right. And you can either rest the, the butt of the rod on your knee or just have one like that soft one, um, that soft side uh, attachment that I, I had with my um, pole sock on. You can just use that as a rest or you can even use it on your bait waiter, it doesn't matter. But you know these are great. I would recommend either having one of these ends or the U end, so it doesn't you don't end up with having your rod pulled off your rest. If you tend to have a flat uh, rod head, it, it, the fish, if you especially if you're cart fishing, they can just pull the rod off and then it's gone. So it's good to have something with a deep groove that you can lock in in your rod and it's not going to get pulled off. So I hope obviously this has uh, been helpful for you and you know more than happy to you know 
answer any questions sorry that obviously the videos aren't coming as fast as as what they were doing when the weather were better obviously the weather's not too great and the fish don't always play a ball at this time of year so i've tried to do some different videos that you know uh, i'm getting requested by they have got another couple of videos coming after that about tying rigs and hook links so hopefully they'll be helpful to you as well so thanks for your support we're over nearly to 1.5 uh, you know 1500 uh, members now on the group which is absolutely fantastic on facebook so if you're not on there just come and join us please subscribe we're getting up to 500 subscribers nearly uh, when it gets to that we're going to be giving uh, away some bait and some free t-shirts to a uh, personalized one to whoever wins that so you know get get sharing the page get sharing the uh, the, the YouTube channel and let's get let's get it bigger and better and obviously we'll get more videos to you guys and you know enjoy your winter fishing and tight lines